Today's read aloud is titled, Rosa Parks, Mother of the Civil Rights Movement. Meet Rosa Parks. Rosa Parks was an ordinary woman who did something extraordinary. On December 1st, 1955, she refused to give up her seat on a city bus. This simple act of defiance helped launch the civil rights movement in the United States. Today, Rosa is remembered as a true hero. Rosa was born on February 4th, 1913 in Tuskegee, Alabama. She went to schools that were for African-American students only. Segregation laws also kept black people out of some restaurants, stores, and other places. When Rosa was 19, she met Raymond Parks and the two married. They settled in Montgomery, Alabama. In 1943, Rosa joined the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, NAACP. Soon, she became secretary to the president, E.D. Nixon. She also worked in a store. Rosa rode a city bus to and from work. Black people could sit only in certain areas. These seats were toward the back of the bus. If all the white seats were full, black passengers had to give up their seats and stand. If there was no place to stand, black people had to get off the bus. Trouble on the bus on December 1st. 1955, Rosa boarded a bus after work. She sat in a seat behind the black section sign. As the bus filled up with white passengers, the driver moved the sign back. He told Rosa and three other people to give up their seats. Rosa refused. The police took Rosa to the police station. She was charged with breaking one of Montgomery's segregation laws. Rosa was put in a jail cell until some friends came to bail her out. Boycott. After Rosa's arrest, black people in the area were asked to boycott all Montgomery buses. A young minister named Martin Luther King Jr. was chosen to lead the bus boycott. The Montgomery bus boycott began on Monday, December 5th. Thousands of people stayed off the buses. They found other ways to get around town. The bus companies lost a lot of money. Finally, after 381 days, Montgomery got rid of its busing segregation laws. The boycott was a huge victory for the civil rights movement. But for Rosa and her husband, it was the beginning of a very hard time. They both lost their jobs and were unable to find new ones. In 1957, they moved out of Alabama. They later settled in Detroit, Michigan. Civil Rights Leader The civil rights movement continued to grow. In 1964, President Lyndon B. Johnson signed the Civil Rights Act. It ended segregation at work, at restaurants, at stores, and at other public places. Rosa continued to work for equality for African Americans. In 1987, Rosa founded the Rosa and Raymond Parks Institute for Self-Development. It teaches young people how to reach their life goals. She also received many awards. In 1996, President Clinton presented her with the Presidential Medal of Freedom. In 1999, she received the Congressional Gold Medal. Rosa died on October 24, 2005. She was 92 years old. Her coffin was put in the United States Capitol building in Washington, D.C. It was a great honor. More than 50,000 people came to say goodbye. 
Rosa believed that America should be a land of equality for all people. She forever changed the course of history and is a hero to millions of people.